What's up you guys, this is Brandon from SpicyEye.com bringing you a tweak called Springtimize 2 for iOS 5 and 6. Now I call this the tweet hub of all tweaks because this has, is packed with so many different tweaks that you can do to your phone. Um, just go to Cydia and type in Springtimize 2 and uh, pay for the package. It is $2.99 on the Big Boss repo so go ahead and uh, check that out and let's go ahead and get more into this. So if you go into your spring to mice, it's also in your settings, you can locate it. Um, first off, you can enable it. But as you can see here, there's so many options that you can go through. You can go through your animations between um, locking your phone. Uh, like say if I have the old TV lock, I can lock the phone and, and the TV color will be green. Of course, you have to respring that to do that. Um, so it like shuts off and it's all green like an old TV, which is pretty cool. Um, your dock, say, you can use a custom number, so instead of downloading the separate t tweak, um, five icon dock, uh, you can actually just use this and it works. Uh, you can, it works really well with, um, info dock as well. Uh, you can hide the dock, hide the labels, hide reflection, hide the shadow, and you get the just. Um, you can adjust the cover flow settings so it kind of looks like, um, you know, cover flow from your music and stuff like that, so that's pretty interesting and sweet. Uh, let's go to lock screen. You can actually enable notification center right up here on your lock screen and um, you can choose to hide the knob, hide the custom label and uh, use a custom text. So instead of saying slide to unlock you can um, edit your own. So that's pretty sweet. For your icons uh, if you noticed on your first uh, um, glance when I went to the home screen, you noticed I had five icons per line. You can set this up here. You can also add an additional row down there. So instead of your normal um, five rows on the iPhone 5, which is what I'm using, I can have six, which is cool because, uh, you know, when I download a lot of applications, this is what I <laughs> want to fill up my one page with because I like the way it looks. Uh, you could disable jittering and stuff like that, any any annoyances. What's really cool is you could resize the icons to whichever way you would like. Um, space them in the between the rows. You can hide newsstand. New uh, you can hide the Spring to Mice app, but this is how I, I get to it. I, I really don't go into the settings application. So, um, But what's also really cool is you can choose icons that you want to hide. So like say, I, don't, I didn't want compass because I never used the compass, so I hide the compass and all that good stuff like that. Um, you can disable the badges so that you don't see uh, any updates for um, applications and stuff like that if you have it in the App Store. So let's go ahead and move on to folders. Um, you can auto close folder like when you open an application. If you left the application, your folder would still be open. Uh, this allows you to um, auto close that. Uh, you can create folders and docs. And uh, I, I find that useful because I, with my info doc that I have downloaded as well, um, I put folders in there so it's, they're easier to access. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Let's go on to the app switcher. Um, I really don't have anything set up in here, but uh, you know, if you wanted to, I have OXO downloaded, which we'll look out for future videos because that'll be in there. Um, you can set up uh, different settings in the app switcher which is really cool. Uh, time machine is pretty much like a setting to where uh, you say a new jailbreak comes out for the updated version and you go and download Spring to Mize. Spring to Mize will automatically save in its settings where everything was at. Every single time I re-download Spring to Mize it automatically puts my apps back where they were which is really cool. Let's go to the status bar. Uh, as you can see right here I used to have a custom carrier and uh, now I don't. Now it's a Pikachu, which is also coming up in an upcoming video. Um, you can use a custom time. Uh, you can hide these things in your status bar, which is like your Bluetooth. Um, I don't have the Bluetooth showing, so it's like, you know, that little B that's up at the top. I don't have that showing. Uh, I don't have my no uh, location services showing at all, so um, it's very useful if you want to have a clean status bar up there. Let's go to paging. You can hide the dots remove page limits disable spotlight that is a big one I dislike spotlight um, never have liked it and probably never will and that's uh, one of the reasons why I downloaded this was just to get rid of that 
Um, let's go to theming. If you have a custom dock, you can upload your custom dock via iFile or um, you know FTP or anything like that. Um, and you could choose the dock, and you know you could upload a custom one. You can also do a custom battery. Um, have custom fonts. Uh, I have a custom font. My color of my font is green, and uh, if you notice that from the springboard. Um, you can change the opacity of icons and wallpaper image effect and stuff like that. So uh, that's pretty cool. And even down here at the lock screen, you can choose a color clock, which is pretty interesting. I used to have that until I downloaded a themed lock screen. Um, for no uh, notification center, you can disable notification center, but I, I like it. Um, for uh, well, as you can see right there, it's blurred. <laughs> So let's go ahead back here. That's one of the options that you can choose. You can choose transparent, blurred, or default. Uh, I like the blurred one because it just looks cool. You can see the stuff in the background, kind of. It's, it's blurred, obviously, but, but uh, it, it adds a cool effect when you have a cool theme. Um, you can instant clear. You can have custom lines, which is like, you know, you, you're not maxed out to uh, only a couple emails, which is very useful and then right here is you know checking for updates all your report problems and request the feature to add so um, this is spring to my 2 guys and it's $2.99 for the big boss repo go ahead and check it out this Brent signing off peace